Hello and welcome to IFS YouTube videos. My name is Asanka Dayananda and I am a program manager at IFS product development supply chain. In this video, I will show you some of the enhancements done to improve the overall productivity in some supply chain processors. I will show you the enhancements done to the lobbies. And secondly, a quick and easy way to register a new purchase order. And finally, I will show you how to pre-post multiple lines at the same time, which had been requested by many users. Now let's begin with the lobbies. In this operational buyer lobby, you can see the buyer related information from the beginning to the end of the procurement process. Starting from the requisition information, you can see the quotation information as well, and also the orders information. If there are any objects to be authorized, those will be shown in this lobby page. Also, the arrival information will be shown in a quite comprehensive way. And if there are any overdue information in terms of quotations and orders will be shown and the agreement information will be shown. The supplier performance had been moved out to a separate lobby to show the supplier reliability and supplier quality. We have done similar improvements to the shipping plan outbound lobby and the warehouse instant view had been given a new look and feel as well. Now I go back to the operational buyer lobby to show you some more capabilities. You can add your own custom element easier than ever. Just simply type the title. And if you know the web URL, you can just paste it here with a link text. And then you can save it in your lobby page. It is also possible to position these elements to find the best fit in your lobby page. Here I am going to move it up a little bit and save it. Now I can easily click on the link and drill down to the quick purchase order registration assistant. I can set the supplier and review the receipt date. In order to add part lines, I have multiple options. I can go to add multiple parts, which will then show me all the parts connected to this supplier. And I also have the possibility to add parts from a template as well. And additionally, I have the option to add parts from a previous purchase order. Now I am going to finish the process and drill down to the created purchase order details. I will show you how to pre-post multiple lines. You can simply select the lines and go to the pre-posting dialog box and set the desired code part values. If you wish, you can simply select all the lines and go back to the pre-posting dialog box. And if there are any differences between the code part values, that will be shown with three dots. But you can override that value at any time. So all these lines will be pre-posted to these values. Now we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to IFS YouTube channel.